third phase of the moon. Third phase of the moon. Welcome back to Third Phase of Moon. My name is Blake Cousins, and in this week's episode, we're going over two incredible videos submitted to us right here at Third Phase. Now let's get to it. Now for our first video, shot from Austin, Texas by Jason, who describes this incredible object as a sight to behold. Notice the light blinking underneath the craft. This isn't no FAA regulated lights. What is this object? There it goes behind them trees. What I liked about this video is that there's multiple shots that was captured by the eyewitness. It's interesting to note that uh, whatever this object is, it's pretty um, bright. It's lit up, obviously. We don't see any kind of uh, structure other than just this huge orb of light in a way that is kind of weird. But then again, this is coming into my mind that it almost looks like a you know, a military blimp or some kind of experimental aircraft, an advertisement going on. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, in my opinion, this is probably what we're looking at. But again, it has these weird uh, anomalies. It does have this one blinking light underneath, but usually blimps have more FAA lights on the tail itself and underneath. And we're not seeing any kind of lights on the tail of this. It's, it's interesting to note as well, we're not seeing a cabin underneath uh, this formation, this uh, bright object, whatever it is, it's, it's interesting. And from the eyewitness, he's never seen anything like this in that area. So again, it's interesting to say as well as if this was an advertising for some kind of location Who on the ground, it light. would be remaining stationary to get everybody's attention to head over to the, that location. This, uh, this is drifting. And in my opinion, when you have these better. kind of advertisements, these displays, it's over some kind of a event. And at this moment, we're not uh, indicating or getting any information that there was any kind of uh, event that was going on at this point. goes behind the trees. I think what we're looking at here is kind of new technology. We're seeing these kind of leaps and bounds and things that we're seeing in the skies kind of on a daily basis. And I think this is kind of what the breakdown of what's going on in the skies. Could this just be some sort of a fuselage that's being lit from within a blimp uh, that's a possibility and i'm kind of leaning towards that but then again i'm thinking this is this kind of new technology that's going to be kind of introduced to everybody in this slow drip disclosure so this guy who captured this he, he did an incredible job and you're looking at the ground you're looking at the there's nobody there it doesn't seem like there's any activity it's huge it's massive so this thing's huge in scale and why why would it be up there just for some sort of advertisement when there's nobody there to witness this event it's quite stunning uh, i'm still on the fence on what technology this is but again i think it's one of ours hard to see Still see it going behind them trees. It's right over downtown Austin, Texas. Unidentified. Unidentified flying object. 
And I can't see it anymore. Still see it on film though. It's gone though, I can't see it at all. Look at how it lights up right there. Yeah, I would think that they're probably experimenting with craft that will resemble maybe a possible uh, alien invasion. You just never know. And these are the craft that would kind of spook the heck out of people on the ground if they didn't know what the what was going on. So in my opinion, it's probably conventional, but it's bizarre in its nature. There are some kind of other uh, aerial displays that kind of resemble this, but again, this is very uh, strange indeed the way it just that showcased itself over this uh, neighborhood so this is a, a question we've got a lot of videos for you so let's uh, take a look at this one coming out of hong kong watch this This video was shot on the way up to the big mountains over there in China, Hong Kong. And as he was going up the tram, he was able to capture these uh, formation of lights that remain stationary. We're looking at this a little closer. And I wanna get your guys' thoughts. Is this a one craft hanging up in the sky, the infamous TR-3B? Could it even be a reflection on uh, the glass the window? I don't think so. This is something that caught the eyewitness's attention. And from what I hear from the eyewitness, his, uh, his footage is genuine. He's not wanting to try to trick us, in my opinion. He's trying to film something outside that window. Whatever it is, it's up there. and. It's weird, and that's why we're sharing it with you right here at Third Phase of Moon. Uh, what the heck is it? I, I really like the way he pulls in and out just to give us some perception of size and scale. I think we're seeing like a bat flying around or some kind of bird. Uh, the, there's some anomalies that are flying in and out of this frame, but of this video, but it's kind of cool. I, I like it. I like it. Could they be flares? I don't think so. They're remaining pretty stationary. They're not descending whatsoever. Uh, interesting stuff, Brent. Your thoughts here. This is a great display. We're looking at a light over the mountain range, and I could tell just by looking at these lights hovering in the sky, they're way beyond the city. I'm thinking they're way closer to the mountainside. And then again, I'm seeing these birds fly into frame that actually cover the lights up. So 
it already rules out reflection on any glass. Plus, the eyewitness already states that he sees it. There's no trickery going on here. What we're seeing is a real deal, and I, I really like the people that send us videos just like this that aren't trying to deceive anybody. They just want to get the truth out, and I, I commend them for this. This is, a, an, again, another great submission to Third Phase of Moon. We don't know what it is. Are they drones? Uh, it's a possibility, but they're not trying to display anything. It seems like they're the typical orbs we see across the planet that appear and disappear. We're digging the content that's coming around the world. That's absolutely right, Brian. It's imperative that we make our presence known across this planet so we could receive these submissions coming in from different areas, different regions, different locations, different cultures. We all wanna know what's going on. Now we have this. It's an incredible sighting that was captured via this photograph and when we first looked at it we were kind of scratching our head this is almost uh, too good to be true but after a close after a closer look actually we put some brightness contrast we got really a, a good image uh, this was a high-rise image and we could see that in my opinion there's no manipulation this is a legitimate photograph you could see that there is a tree that's uh, kind of obscuring the craft of this flying saucer with some kind of energy that's coming from underneath it. As I add the brightness contrast, you could make out more and more this branch, this tree, giving size and dimension to this craft, this meta propulsion. What is going on on this uh, photograph? Again, we, we just don't uh, want to put up photograph photographic evidence all the time but this one kind of stands out to us we we, we want to look at it even closer and as we're looking at it you can make out the undercarriage of this object that's cylindrical in shape then you have the underhaul of this craft that reveals some kind of again energy source what is the meta propulsion it's it's really neat it's a it's a fabulous photograph apparently the eyewitness stated that he only had a moment in time to capture it it was captured at night but again with the ambient light coming from the craft itself you could get a good look at it i like it we have size and comparison you can see it off at the distance in the shot and as we pull in again it gives size and dimension i would have to estimate that this craft would have to be at least 22 maybe 30 feet in diameter brent what's your thoughts here yeah, Blake, digging this photo big time. Uh, everybody in the comments and joining us tonight on this premiere right now, give us a big thumbs up because we're, we're getting the information out as fast as possible. I'm glad we're here to share it with everybody. Look at the plasmic energy. It seems like it's, it has this power underneath this flying saucer disc. It's totally fascinating. You can see it kind of burn and just a plasma energy kind of just ricocheting off the craft itself. It's it's kind of a beautiful image and I find it fascinating if this is real that I could contest the photo is real but is there any manipulation or somebody trying to you know pull a fast one there's questions into this but I'm seeing even the blending of the photograph off the light and everything else I can see the emulsion is correct there's no Photoshop going here so what we're seeing is the real deal is it extraterrestrial is it one of ours is it a meta propulsion craft that's all the questions that we're asking right now it's one of the great uh photographs that we've received so let me tell you we do once in a while share photographic evidence trust me we love the video evidence i think that's where it really showcases the performance of whatever unidentified craft that uh, the eyewitness is trying to film but that being said we're looking at this and I'm happy that the eyewitness was able to capture this moment in time to capture it and we could share it with you. This is what it's all about, gathering the evidence and bringing it forth. Now, this is interesting, happening in our backyard, up on the top of the Mount Achaia Mountain. It's snowy up there, but they have some great observatories up there checking out the stars and they managed to capture some incredible imagery things that still can't be explained. Watch this.
So we're looking at this video and I have to tell you, it was leaked from an insider who works up on the mountain. We're not gonna name any names, but they thought third phase of moon should take a close look at this uh, craft that comes into the camera's imagery and they managed to capture it but let me tell you, this leaked uh, information, maybe the world wouldn't have never seen it unless uh, we were given the heads up. So we appreciate people from around the world uh, giving us the information as needed because uh, people need to wake up. We're not alone. But after looking at this incredible imagery coming in, we could see this craft moving at almost supersonic speeds. It's hard to tell. It's time-lapse video, but it seems to be in the stratosphere, super high. It leaves a trail behind it, and this is pretty unusual, being that the Mauna Kea it really doesn't capture anomalies such as this. It's one of the first times that an astronomer who worked up there wanted to give us a heads up, and they are scratching their heads, and they want the people to uh, kind of woken up as well like they are we don't know all the answers but right now this is kind of unexplained Brent any uh, thoughts on this incredible imagery big shout out to the person on the mountain that actually sent this and gave us insight because uh, if it wasn't for people like you that's what it's all about getting the information out and uh, yeah hats off to you guess what Blake what we're looking at here is there's no frequent air traffic in this area there's some anomaly that's screaming across the stratosphere and the telescopes on the mountain actually captured it. This is not a, an event that happens all the time. This astronomer would know what's happening, what kind of traffic is over their vicinity. This is very odd. I'm, I'm thinking there's some sort of test. A space force comes to mind. Maybe extraterrestrial, otherworldly craft that made a visit over the Mount Achaia. What we're looking at is not normal, not conventional. The speeds are are just enormous. Absolutely, Brent. To take note that the Mount Achaia is approximately 14,000 feet in elevation. So when you're looking at this video, you can surmise the height of this craft. So it's 14,000 feet. This thing looks like it's at least another 30,000 feet in the sky. So we're looking at something that is at least, in my opinion, 70 to 80,000 feet in the sky uh, approaching the stratosphere. This is an incredible image. And again, we thank the people on the ground up on the mountain giving us this information. We appreciate it. I want to thank everybody who joined us on this incredible third phase of moon live premiere. Your chat and your participation in this live premiere chatting. It's really amazing we dig everybody that's joining us and your super chats it really helps too uh, all this really helps us bring you the top ufo information as fast as possible thanks everybody for hanging out with us tonight keep your eyes on the skies be safe and if you've captured anything amazing out there submit it to us right here at third phase of moon my email is in the description keep your eyes on the skies everybody blake cousins we'll see you next time